why light as an energy source you know, they are known as a phototrophs. So, as we have seen that microorganisms on the basis of staining they divided in a gram positive and gram negative particular bacteria. Similar way based on the energy source all the living creatures not necessarily only the bacteria, but bacteria, fungi and other organisms, microorganisms they are divided in two groups chemotrophs and phototrophs. Now, chemotrophs if we take those who are requiring chemical substance or chemical reactions as their energy source. So, the chemotrophs now based on what types of the carbon source which is required for the growth of the chemotrophic organisms they will be further divided in two groups. The first one is organism which require organic carbon or organic compounds and other which require carbon dioxide as a carbon source which is the simplest source of a carbon available on planet earth while all other organic compounds which are slightly complex or more complex as compared to the carbon dioxides. So, those group of organisms which require organic compounds as a carbon source they are classified as chemoheterotrophs. Now, you have to remember this terminology because many times the MCQ is asked based on this terminology. So, all the microorganisms they are divided into chemotrophs and phototrophs. Now, we are discussing the subgrouping of a chemotrophic organisms is I have discussed that types of the organic compound require or types of the carbon source require as a carbon dioxide or more complex source they are known as a chemoheterotrophs or chemoautotrophs. So, those which are requiring organic carbon other than carbon dioxides they are known as a chemoheterotrophs and those which can take all or we can have all the carbon sources or all the carbon requirements from a carbon dioxide they are known as chemoautotrophs. Now, if we once again come to the chemoheterotrophs then which substance is playing important role as electron donor or electron acceptor. So, based on this now further this chemo organotrophs or chemoheterotrophs now they are divided into two groups. So, a final electron acceptors where oxygen is serving as final electron acceptors this form a one separate group of a living creatures which includes all animals most fungi, protozoa and some of the bacteria. While rest of the living creatures which are not requiring oxygen as a final electron acceptors, but which require other material as electron acceptors now they would be classified in a two subgroups which are not requiring oxygen as an final electron acceptors. So, one of them is a those which require the organic compound as a final electron acceptors. Now, this group of organisms they are known as a fermentative organisms. The example one of the examples which I have given here which is a streptococcus which is a fermentative examples of uh, example of a fermentative organisms while the other group of organisms which require inorganic compound as a final oxygen acceptors now where it is known as a clostridium group of organisms where electron transport chain the final electron acceptor is oxygen. So, this a brief classifications or grouping of a chemotrophic organisms as initially we have divided organisms in a chemotrophs and phototrophs. So, let us see the classification of a phototrophic organisms as we have seen in case of a chemotrophs the it further divided in two groups based on the carbon source. Here also a phototrophs are also further divided in a two groups based on the carbon source. So, a phototrophic organisms which are requiring light energy or sunlight energy as a sun, sunlight as a energy source and organic compound as a carbon source they are known as a photoheterotrophs. While those who are requiring the carbon dioxide as a carbon source as in case of a chemoautotrophs. Now, here the phototrophs which require carbon dioxide as a carbon source then they are known as a photoautotrophs. So, we are having a four different name chemoheterotrophs, chemoautotrophs, 
photoheterotrophs and photoautotrophs. So, those which require a chemical reactions, they are known as a chemotrophs. Those who which are requiring the sunlight or light as energy source, they are classified as the phototrophs. And depending upon the organic carbons, the photoheterotrophs, the example is a green non sulfur bacteria, purple non sulfur bacteria, which is requiring sunlight as an energy source or the light as an energy source and organic compound as that carbon source. While the photoautotrophic requires either they use H2O to produce carbon dioxides. Based on this, they are divided in two subgroups. In case of photoheterotroph, they are not divided in a further subgroup, but in case of a photoautotrophs, they divided in further two subgroups which require or which use water H2O to reduce carbon dioxide, then they are known as a organic photosynthetic organisms. This includes plants, algae and cyanobacteria which are having the chlorophyll. So, by the presence of chlorophylls, they are utilizing the light as an energy source and they are utilizing organic compounds as a carbon source. Then the different other group of organisms which are not using H2O to reduce carbon dioxides, they are known as an oxygenic organism which includes photosynthetic bacteria, green and pulper bacteria. So, this classifications, now if we look in a detail in terms of a, as we have seen the overall chart, if we go to the energy source just to give you the idea regarding phototrophs, chemotrophs and further use light as an energy source while chemotrophs which uses energy for the oxidation of a reduced chemical compounds. So, here oxidation of a reduced chemical compound take place and from that they will get the energy while phototrophic organism directly they utilize sunlight or light as energy source. Now, this way if you consider the microorganisms or if you consider this living creatures, now they have the capability while all higher organisms including plants or including the human being and animals, we do not have this capacity to utilize this type of a simple compounds and grow and do all the activity ourselves. Now, in case of the electron transport change, reduction potential sources, we are looking to the classifications with the other aspects organotrophs and lithotrophs. So, in case of organotrophic organisms, <coughs> they use reduced organic compound as a source for the reduction potential, while lithotrophs which use reduced inorganic compound as a source of a reduction potential. So, this classifications or this grouping is based on what types of the compound which are used as a reduction potentials. Carbon source as we have discussed autotrophs, heterotrophs, autotrophs can use carbon dioxide as a sole carbon source while heterotrophs they require organic carbon. Now, if we go in a further detail, so major nutrients requirements as we say photoautotrophs which are also known as photolithotrophs. So, now this is very important to remember when MCQ is asked either photoautotroph or photolithotrophs both are synonymous words and source of energy or hydrogen or electrons and the carbons in terms of the classifications. So, light energy or inorganic hydrogen or electrons donor or carbon dioxide is a carbon source. Then representative of these organisms which are we are classifying as a photoautotrophs or photolithotrophs, they are algae, purple and green sulfur bacteria or cyanobacteria. Photoheterotrophs or which is known as photoorganotrophs also, which also require light energy, inorganic as a electron acceptors and donors and organic carbon sources. The example of this group of organisms, they are the sulfur, sorry, purple non sulfur bacteria and green sulfur bacteria. Chemoautotrophs or chemolithotrophs, chemical energy source. In case of the previous two, it is a light energy source, here the chemical energy source and inorganic or the carbon dioxide source, which mainly includes sulfur oxidizing bacteria, hydrogen bacteria, nitrifying bacteria, 
which we playing very important role in cycling of various compounds and chemoheterotrophs chemical energy or organic source as a donor or organic carbon source most of the bacteria fungi and protozoa so autotroph heterotroph photolithotrophic organisms photo organotrophs chemolithotrophs or chemo organotrophs now look to the chemical reactions because sometime the chemical reactions are asked during the prepare uh, during the examinations so carbon dioxide plus water what it require in the presence of light but it's require the chlorophyll and algae and the cyanobacteria they are having this chlorophyll due to this in the presence of chlorophyll the carbon dioxide react with water and they will form CH2O and oxygen is liberated in case of purple and green bacteria it's require carbon dioxide as it is required by algae and the cyanobacteria but it won't require water it's require twi sulfur dioxide sorry at h2s sulfur dioxides so ca carbon dioxide plus twice h2s hydrogen sulfides in the presence of light and chlorophyll but here it is different chlorophyll it is known as a bacterial chlorophylls and in the presence of this bacterial chlorophylls hydrogen sulfides react with carbon dioxides and once again it forms ch2o and it liberate water plus sulfur in case of algae and cyanobacteria remember this they are using water they are using the normal chlorophyll what is we can say which is present in this organism and oxygen is liberated here sulfur is liberated while photoheterotrophs if we look in terms of a chemical reactions then it is carbon dioxide ch3 ch o h ch3 and this carbon dioxide is reacting with this in the presence of bacterial chlorophylls and once again the same thing you can find the synthesis of ch2o plus water and more complex compound is also liberated ch3 co ch3 which group of organisms which are doing this reactions which includes pulp non sulfur bacteria specific name is rhodospirillum now photosynthetic systems as we have seen in the previous slides some require water some require h2s some require more complex compounds here property of some of this photosynthetic organisms and three different photosynthetic organisms we are classified here cyanobacteria green and pulp bacteria purple non sulfur bacteria and if we look to a specific property of this organisms how they differ from each other because many time you now this type of the questions are also asked for the classification of this organisms photo pigments so as we have seen in the previous slides that normal chlorophyll and bacterial chlorophylls so how this uh, chlorophyll differs so here photo pigments they differ in terms of a chlorophyll then bacterial chlorophylls and bacterial chlorophylls so green and the purple sulfur bacteria they require bacterial chlorophylls while the cyanobacteria they require the chlorophylls oxygen productions in case of cyanobacteria it is yes while in case of the other two organism there is no oxygen productions electron donors in case of cyanobacteria water will serve as electron donors while in case of green and pulp bacteria either hydrogen or sulfur or h2s will serve as electron donors while in case of purple non sulfur bacteria it is h2 h2s or sulfur carbon source simple carbon dioxide is used by cyanobacteria and green and pulp bacteria but in case of pulp non sulfur bacteria either it is organic carbon or carbon dioxide can be used so this is slight mixing of a we can say heterotrophs and autotrophs or heterotrophs and phototrophs chemotrophs and phototrophs 
no some organisms they can use either carbon dioxide or they can use even a complex compounds primary products of the energy conversion atp plus nadph in case of cyanobacteria while in case of a other two bacteria it's only the atp is product form in case of chemoautotrophic organisms electron donors electron acceptors and the product forms here some specific name of the organisms we are discussing alkalogens and the pseudomonas which require electron donor hydrogen as electron donors and oxygen as electron acceptors and ultimate products at the end of the growth of this organisms or metabolic activity of this organisms that you will find water or h2o while in case of chemoautotrophs which are growing in the presence of chemical reaction as energy source and carbon dioxides or simple carbon compounds as a carbon source nitrobacters where the electron donor is different than pseudomonas and alkalogens here the electron donor is no2 and electron acceptor is oxygen so and the product form at the reaction is no3 and h2o in case of nitrosomonas electron donor is once again change which is nh4 and electron acceptor is oxygen product is no2 a slightly reduced compound as compared to no3 and h2 disulfo vibrio where electron donors is hydrogen but the electron acceptor is change in previous three organisms electron acceptors was oxygen while in case of this electron acceptor is sulfate and the product you will find which is water and h2s hydrogen sulfides thiobacillus denitrifications denitrifications which require a different electron donors and electron acceptors where the sulfur is serve as a electron donor h2s is also serve as electron donors but electron acceptor is no3 and the product form from this organism is sulfate and nitrogen thiobacillus ferrooxidans where electron donor is iron or we can say ferrous compound and electron acceptor is oxygen ultimate products is ferric fe3 ferric iron and h2 now all these organism all these chemoautotrophic organisms they are requiring 